world, you know. And that is the, you know, experiencing the uncertainties is one of the best learning uh, aspect of life, number one. Number two, uh, the mis common mistake which is done by students of your age is preoccupation with a particular field of work, field of uh, career. I have, I, I've got to take admission in computer science, you know. And since I am nurturing this idea for five, seven years, so whatever presentation is being done, you don't even look at. Whatever offers are being, you know, given to you, you hardly try to look at, you know, because you are preoccupied with your own field of uh, studies, that is computer science. Now, what actually happens, there are a lot of universities in the world who offers you different variations of computer sciences, you know, different varieties of, uh, of uh, mechanical engineering, which might be one of the specifics, might be one of the, uh, you know, uh, advanced field of, uh, of uh, you know, a subset of a particular uh, field of study. So, number two caveat for you, explore other options. You know, you should try to explore maximum options rather than again preoccupied with a particular uh, uh, study of field. So with this, this is an opportunity for you. Today we have organized an event just to let you know that this is a destination for you. Malaysia is one of the best destinations as far as education is concerned because there are a lot of universities which operate in Malaysia. They are world-class universities. Uh, if you look at their ranking, if you do look at their, uh, you know, career placement, they are the top ones. And of course, uh, once you go there, a lot of students might have already visited Malaysia. Um, you know, one of the islands, the world famous island, Langkawi, I think most of you might be knowing. So if you go there, you can find the whole, you know, uh, culture pretty attractive. And, and it's a predominantly a Muslim country, of course. So as far as food is concerned, it's pretty, so, uh, I, I mean, manageable for you. So overall, I, I believe that the, all the universities, the top universities of Malaysia are, are here today, and the representatives are here today. Uh, Sir Fahim Basi manages all, uh, all the educational counselors and consultants. So, so it's, uh, try to know their programs, you know. The basic question should try to know what programs they are offering, a particular university which are offering. Number two, uh, accommodation, of course, your living expenses, you know, your travel expenses at the same time. Of course, the restriction, the visa restrictions, is it feasible for you to go this year? Uh, I mean, the big question arises in the age of this pandemic, is it possible for you to, to, uh, to travel this year? So will, 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 what would be the visa uh, guidelines? So these are the questions we should try to ask each and every university. Now, moving on, what scholarship they can offer you? So these are the questions you should ask the counselors today, right? So, the, so keep yourself open, you know, do not get preoccupied with the country, neither with the qualifications, right? Uh, and I have seen that, I mean, I, I'm not that much experienced, but I've seen a lot of universities have got different, different programs which are suitable to the needs of, of, of maybe of, of industries five years down the road or 10 years down the road. A lot of programs in Pakistani universities which are being offered, they are obsolete, of course, and students don't know because the parents are they're not aware of the, not aware of you know current needs of the industry. So, so it should try to explore different programs, try to read about them, try to ask questions to the counselors. So, just so, uh, food for thought for you, and of course some guidelines for you. So, I hope that this is a series which have, we have started today. As far as counseling is concerned, this is starting from Malaysia. Then in the next week, you might be getting uh, counselors from specific countries, right? Instead of having all the all the countries, uh, counselors on the same platform, we are specifying each and every country. So if you have any question, uh, you, you can ask the counselors. Okay, so I, I really appreciate Fahim Basi Saab for uh, organizing this event. And of course, uh, requesting all the representatives of different countries to visit Wales College. So I, I want you people to get uh, the maximum benefit out of it and motivate your friends to get the maximum benefit out of it. Okay, thank you very much. Best of luck. Thank you so much, sir. Now I would like to call Mr. Muhammad Razlan bin Jalaluddin, who is EMGSCA Education Malaysia Global Service. Okay.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning. In the past year, the world has observed a shift in almost every field, be it education, economy, corporate working, or even personal lifestyle due to the global pandemic. It makes us realize that we are all in this together. Talking about education, it was already moving to its new way of learning. In fact, we have changed tremendously throughout the decade, such as online learning. So, what could help us in becoming global citizens in this modern era? It is our knowledge, ability to learn, and adaptability to multiple environments. And how can we get this knowledge and skill to get through different cultural challenges? The answer is, by acquiring quality education through world-class institutions that offer diverse cultural exposure, modern infrastructure for educational and extracurricular activities, and a highly qualified faculty for undergraduate to postgraduate levels and even research projects for the future. Options are many throughout the world. However, one must choose wisely. The parents' hard-earned savings deserve to be spent smartly. Affordability and value for money are the key factors while choosing your study options. Dear parents, students, brothers and sisters, Malaysia is a unique country with diverse cultures and roots, friendly people with economic and social stability. Our weather is consistent and food is tasty and haram. Our beaches are definitely an attraction and infrastructure are modern and well built. We are a growing nation that is firmly rooted in the values of the Africa. Malaysia is home to 20 public universities and 47 private universities. There are 34 university colleges and 10 foreign university branches as well. Our universities are not only ranked top in Asia, but also progressing up in the world rankings. In short, we provide a conducive academic environment with international exposure and global career gateway at a very affordable investment. EMGS is a one-stop center that provides solutions for your admission to Malaysia higher education institutions and assists in visa processing through immigration offices. I can assure you, we are ready to help you with your study journey. My dear friends, Pakistan and Malaysia have so many common factors. We also believe that the youth of Pakistan deserve a raw, solid base to raise themselves. This is why we partnered with the most trusted me in the academic counseling and career shaping in Pakistan, Fahim Abbasi and Associates. They are in this service for more than two decades and cover almost the whole geography of Pakistan. In December 2020, study in Malaysia education and career fair was organized all across Pakistan. During the event, many exciting offers were made available from top Malaysian universities, suiting various budgets. The response was overwhelming, and we thank Pakistani students and parents for choosing Malaysia as their preferred study destination. I hope to welcome all of you very soon in Malaysia. Thank you. Bahad bahad shukriya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. Now we have another online presentation by Asia Pacific University of Technology and Innovation.
Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Are we uh, let me know uh, when you want me to start and I could proceed. Um, please let me know when you want us to start, then I can proceed with uh, with my part of presentation. Yeah. yeah. I'll wait for your signal. <coughs> All right, okay. So, uh, thank you very much for having us today, along with our team, uh, Fahim Abbasi Consultancy. Uh, I'm from Asia Pacific University, APU, Malaysia. And we are so privileged to be present at the Wales College uh, with the students who are almost going to complete your high school, your school level, and then looking into our journey right after your high school. I think it's a very important stage. I remember my days, I used to go through this experience Right after my A-levels, I was looking for options after high school. So, I mean, most of you who are present here today, I believe you have different dreams, you have different aspirations and goals. Some of you want to become IT engineers, some of you want to become engineers, some of you want to become business graduates, accounting graduates, or design, animation, psychology, those areas. And let me tell you a bit of information about APU. Asia Pacific University and who we are and what we offer and along with that uh, how you can gain scholarships and our intakes and so on and so forth. I think these are very important factors before you select a university. Why do you choose a university in the first place mainly? What factors you will look at? One of the most important factors you should think about is your employability. Can you get employed? This is one of the major pointers that you need to look at before you select the university. APU is currently at 100% employability rate uh, across the industry. We work with more than 700 partners, companies, globally. Kuala Lumpur, where we have students from 130 countries in the university, including students from Pakistan. I think the diversity plays a major role. I think this is a very important factor when it comes to your higher education. The diversity is very important. When you are in a very international university, which is rated number one in Asia for being the most multi-diverse university, I think it adds a lot of value to you when it comes to your exposure. So APU being a university that has a lot of areas in computing technology, we have so many areas between computing and technology, for example, cybersecurity, digital forensics, software engineering, computer science, cloud computing, network computing, data science. These areas are very important for your friends because nowadays companies, they need specifics. Whether you are a business student, whether you are an IT student, whether you are an accounting student, whether you are a medical, medical student, they need specifics. It's no more the generalized degrees. You know, it's actually everyone else has it. So what is your X factor? How do you change? How do you define yourself within a group of 100 to 200, you know, candidates who are applying for the same job? What makes you stand out? What makes the, what is your X factor that gets you the job? APU has a very strong linkage with the industry. We work with many companies and our programs are very specialized. Up to a point, you wouldn't, you, you would not be able to even imagine, okay, wow, there's so many specialisms that we have within computing. If you're looking for business programs, 
gone are the days everyone has gone to business management, but not anymore. The trend has changed. Back days, if you look at it, to do marketing management degrees, the marketing manager's job has changed over the time. If you want to become a marketing graduate, you need to know analytics now. You need to, it's all based on data analytics. So you need to look at digital marketing as a degree, not just general marketing. Right, so these are important areas and developments because we right now live in industry revolution 4.0. This is a very important concept. Uh, you need to remember about this. The world that we live in right now basically is a revolution. Like 10 years ago, 20 years ago, for example, the marketing manager's job, the software engineer's job is completely different from that to today. So companies, they need they definitely need specific, they need specialists upon graduation. So if you're someone looking for business degrees, you should be looking at e-business. During the time of pandemic, people are, you know, ordering food online. You know, people are getting their medicines online. So this is the disruption of the business. Simple thing. What's the biggest taxi provider in the world that doesn't own taxis? That's Uber. The biggest cinema in the world that doesn't own any single cinema hall. What is it? Netflix. The biggest accommodation provider in the world that doesn't own any hotels or accommodation. What is it? Airbnb. So you see, the disruption of the business is absolutely, doesn't matter which industry you are in, it's connected with one factor, that is technology. Even if you're a business student, even if you're an accounting student, when you call IT student, everything is connected with technology. So APU is very specialized in these areas. And if you're looking at, you know, as I mentioned, into business, you should be looking into e-business, digital, digital marketing, international relations. Yeah, those areas are in demand. If you're looking at accounting finance programs, we do have various programs like financial technology printing. For example, you must be using your QR scan just to, you know, make a payment that's basically fintech. The finance industry is disrupted. You are talking about disruption. It's not just about the degree, it's about disruption. Are you preparing, as a student of Wales College, are you prepared to face the challenge? There are so many graduates out there in the market finding it difficult to get into the job market. Why? Because the main problem is that degrees are not really specialized. At APU, the most important thing, how we connect the employers is that we update our subjects, what we teach you in the university, based on the industrial feedback. Microsoft, Google, Dell, Oracle, you name, you name it. We work, work with more than 700 companies to update the subjects we teach you in the classroom. That's very really important. Right? So, I mean, of course, for, you, for more details that you require, you could definitely visit, you know, uh, my, my colleague, Mr. Fahim Abbasi, uh, and he's we are more than happy to guide you and support you and connect with us. We are our, our interested partner in consultancy. And of course, if you're looking at scholarships, very important thing. Well, do I get in scholarship if I get good grades from Cambridge, you know, my A-levels and all that? Yes, you do. We have scholarships offered at APU, maximum up to 30% of the tuition fees. But how much would it cost properly to study in Malaysia at APU, for example? If you compare with if you compare with the countries like Australia, Canada, New Zealand, UK, is in fact one third of the cost. For example, per year your tuition fee is about twelve lakhs Pakistani rupees per year. If you get scholarships from ten percent to thirty percent, it could be further deducted, which you can pay on semester basis, semester one, semester two. So those payment options are available as well. If I am a student from Cambridge background. Do I have to do IOTS? You might think about it. No need. Malaysia, we don't look at IOTS for students coming from Cambridge background. So you can definitely directly apply with us through our partner, Prime Abbasi Consultancy. Then they will be able to guide you on the application process and so on and so forth. So we have multiple intakes. You don't have to worry about. We have intakes in May. We have intakes in uh, March, May, July. September, August, November, we have intakes throughout the year. So you can apply immediately with your provisional results. If you have your AS results with you right now, I recommend you 
to take your AS results and meet my colleagues by him. And then he will be able to guide you and then share the document with us and we will be able to get a conditional offer letter in respect to your current provisional grades. I think this gives you an overall idea, definitely, about the university. Just a bit of a glimpse about, you know, uh, if you could just help me to share the uh, screen. Can you, can, can you help me to share the screen, please? Can you enable? Is it possible? Yeah. I'm not able to share my screen, just to show some pictures of the uni, and I'm basically done with that afterwards. No. Yep. I can't share the screen yet. Um, our... Okay. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Perfect, perfect. So I'm just gonna share the screen um, with you. Okay, now we can. I hope you can see the screen. Just sharing some highlights of the university the pictures, the facilities, just to give you an idea about what we are and who we are and all that. So this is your university at APU. It's a very modern, futuristic campus, definitely. And you could see that, you know, a proper stuff, a proper establishment, you know, basically you will be able to have a good learning experience as an internationally ranked university. And especially for all undergraduate degrees you do with us, you get two certificates. So this is actually a military graded cyber security lab we have in the campus. So it's very much, you know, futuristic and definitely you will be able to have a good learning experience. And these are some of the highlights of accommodations and all that if you're looking at your living cost in Malaysia with APU, for accommodation, your food, your passport, everything put together. It's around 60,000 to 70,000 rupees, Pakistan rupees a month on average, right? So this gives you an overall idea about us and food is not a problem in Malaysia. If you're looking for halal food and all that as well, it's not at all a problem. At APU, we have this cafeteria options and everything available for you. So it's pretty much easy option in the meantime. So I'm just going to show you a bit of highlight of the accommodations. And then uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me as well right after. So I'm basically almost done because I've, I've been given just 10 minutes of the time. So I have to stick to the time as well. So these are some of the highlights of the accommodations that we have in APU. So we have twin sharing, we have single room. This is a typical single room. So it's pretty much you have the accessibility to, you know, all that in the campus. So it's a multi-diverse university, students from 130 countries. And this is the dual certificate I was sharing with you. You get two certificates, one from APU and one from DMU, Demont Fort Lycaster, UK, when you graduate. So two certificates, why not? Yeah, I think this gives you an overall idea about us. And should you have any question, you can of course ask me, or you could of course get in touch with my colleague, uh, Mr. Fahim Abbasi and his team, and then they'll be able to guide you accordingly. So with that, I hand over the session to the host. Thank you very much for your time, and we appreciate your uh, time and your efforts as well. Also, we appreciate uh, the Wales College for organizing this session. Thank you so much, and then we look forward to seeing you, inshallah, in Malaysia. So this is Miklau from Asia Pacific University. So thank you very much. Over to you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you.
Hello? Hi. Hi. Hello, everyone. Uh, do I start now? Okay. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining the uh, session today. Uh, my name is Z, and I'm from University of Nottingham, Malaysia. Uh, I will be uh, doing a presentation about the university. Uh, you can always ask me questions later, or if you have anything, you can also email to us. Let me share my screen. Can you see my screen? Okay, so uh, my email is stated in the uh, here, and uh, please feel free to email to me. So welcome to University of Nottingham, Malaysia. We are a branch campus of our University of Nottingham in UK. This is a picture of a graduate ceremony in Malaysia. And this is some information about the University of Nottingham. So we are top 100 in the world, according to QS ranking. Uh, we are also a member of the Russell Group of leading UK university. If you are not familiar with Russell Group, it's similar to the Ivy League University in uh, US. So in UK, uh, some of the university in Russell Group, including Oxford University, Cambridge, and of course, University of Nottingham. Uh, we are top 10 UK university for graduate employability. Uh, we have international campus in Malaysia and China. And of course, we are a Sport University of the Year for 2021 and also International uh, University of the Year for 2019. This is the location of our three campuses. And this is our landmark building uh, called Trend Building. So uh, this is to show that we are actually one university with different campus. And when I say one university, a student who graduate with University of Nottingham degree will get the same certificate, uh, whether they are in Malaysia, UK, or China campus. So all the certificate will be issued by uh, UK, and you will mention only the University of Nottingham without mentioning Malaysia or China. This is a brief history of our uh, University. So in UK, we are more than 100 years old. And in Malaysia, we opened in 2000. So we celebrate our 21 anniversary this year. We are the first UK uh, university to open outside of UK. And in 2000, we received our first intake uh, student. In 2005, we moved to our current campus in Semenye. I will show you uh, the campus. So this is 125 acre of land in Semenye, about 45 minutes from the city center Kuala Lumpur and 45 minutes from the airport. You can see that we have the whole uh, uh, facility here, science, engineering, teaching facility, library, and on-campus accommodation is inside the uh, uh, campus. And also, we are proud to have this sports center as well. So you, if you are a new student to the university, you will be have a guaranteed accommodation. It's all within the walking distance. We also provide a free shuttle bus service for you that you can take to the nearest train station to go to the city center and other part of the town. Uh, we also have a clinic and a mosque as well, and a female-only accommodation if you prefer. These are our ranking. So we have one subject ranked top 10 in the world, which is M Farm. I will explain more about that later. Uh, in Malaysia, we are five etc. Uh, and then we have other subject ranked top 100 and top 50. I just want to mention that when I, uh, the ranking is follow a uh, worldwide ranking. We do not measure by Malaysia uh, ranking because we are a UK university in Malaysia. These are our subject area. So uh, you can see that we have foundation, business and management, art and social science, engineering and science subject. 
We offer a foundation undergraduate and master. So for foundation, we have three semester and two semester. Uh, if you are taking GCSE O level, you will, you, you will have to take a three semester uh, foundation. AS level will be two semester. Or if you are studying A level, you can go direct to year one, your bachelor. Uh, intake is in September every year. So and our uh, application deadline is usually three months before the intake. So for September intake, our deadline is uh, 12 July. Uh, you can apply with your forecast result. And then you can give us the uh, final result later in August when your uh, result is out. Okay. Wait. Can you see my slide showing? Uh, okay. Please tell me when it's hang. So for master, we offer uh, also uh, in September intake and also February for selected program. Duration is only one year. So for again for a bachelor, normally the duration is three years or four years for engineering. For master is only one year. And if you are thinking of MBA, we require a minimum of three year working experience. Uh, this is because that uh, the those who join our MBA are coming from management, entrepreneur, business owner. So you will learn from them as well as from our if you are a fresh grad who are looking for master, uh, you may consider MSc Business and Management or MSc Finance and Investment. MSc stands for Master of Science. Engineering taught uh, master, we have chemical, civil, electrical, and electronic and mechanical. And science are all research program. So we encourage you to apply with forecast or last semester result. Uh, you can refer to our website for entry requirement. In general, our bachelor require a uh, 3B is A level entry requirement. And these are a master in art and social science. And okay, cost comparison. This is just for you to reference uh, on the, the difference when you study in Nottingham UK campus and Malaysia campus. You will receive the same quality uh, and same certificate. Even when you are studying Malaysia campus, some of your exam paper will be also checked by our UK academy to make sure the standards are the same. So, but if you look at the price, for example, if you want to study business, in UK it's about 18,000 pounds per year. In Malaysia it's only 8,500. So it's one third of uh, the price in UK. The same with engineering. Uh, these price are all you can uh, search online in the website. In general, science engineering program in UK is about £23,000, but in Malaysia it's only 10000 And of course, the living cost in Malaysia is so much lower than UK. This is because the currency uh, is not as expensive as UK. And this is also a cost comparison for you to look at what you can do if you want to do bachelor and master. For example, uh, you want to get a master, bachelor and master in UK, but if you look at if you study everything in UK, it's going to cost you about eighty thousand pound. If you study everything in Malaysia, it's going to cost you thirty five thousand pound. But you can also choose to study bachelor in Malaysia. Okay, let me. If you choose to study bachelor in Malaysia, and then you go to UK for your master, which is only one year. The cost is only this. So when you study your master in UK only one year, you can stay back for the uh, post-study uh, work visa, where they allow you to stay up to two years to find a job. So actually, it's, it's much more uh, affordable if you plan your study this way. M bachelor in Malaysia, master in UK, or any other country, because when you graduate from Nottingham, Malaysia, you get a UK degree, which allow you to go anywhere in the world, US, Australia, UK, Canada, and you can benefit from the uh, post-study visa available in those countries. Exchange and transfer. So Nottingham, Malaysia offer this opportunity for you to spend a semester or a year at Nottingham campus in UK or China. We have something called exchange which you go during your second year and then you come back to Malaysia for your final year. 
If you do this, you will pay tuition fee in Bring It Malaysia. So imagine you study one year or one semester. One semester is about six months in UK campus, but you're only paying uh, the Malaysia tuition fee uh, price. So selection will based on result and availability. Uh, most of the program will have this option, but because of limited seat, we will choose student based on the result. For inter-campus transfer, transfer means you spend your last year in Nottingham campus in UK or China. So of course you have to pay the pound or uh, in China, Raven B. It's also the same. Uh, some program will have this option, some program will not have. But for these two program, we do have this option for you. Biomedical science and computer science with artificial intelligence. This one will allow you to finish your final year in UK. So for other programs, the option may be not available every year, but these are available. And of course, um, for computer science with AI, we are only limited to the top 50 students in the class. So in the, during your second year, we will look at your result. Tuition fee will be in pound because you are completing everything there. For M Farm, this is our top 10 program. You, you will spend two years in Malaysia and two years in UK. Uh, there is no option to complete in Malaysia. The reason is because you will go through a training uh, in UK called uh, pre-registration where you will uh, train to become a, a registered pharmacist in UK. So after that, you can stay back in UK to work at the registered pharmacy. It's the same, uh, similar to something like doctor. Study so abroad option. So beside our UK and China campus, you can also go to this other university, uh, our partner, and you also pay the tuition fee in Ringgit Malaysia because you only spend uh, some of part of your academic year. No transfer is available for this. Scholarship, we have uh, offer high achiever scholarship for student 25% discount for student with 3A in A level and 7A in O level. It's automatically awarded for you when you show us your final result. So you don't need to fill out any form or go through any interview. For master, we also have 25% for our arts and social science program. Accommodation, uh, everything is within, within walking distance to academic building and uh, facility. Rental, including water, electric, city, internet connection, and room cleaning service. Uh, female blog available, you can request doing application. Uh, application is done through online, so you can click on the link and uh, everything is also available in our website, the price and the floor plan. So for students, uh, I think this is part is where you also get excited. Uh, we have 80 over student run club and society. Any of your interest, anything, you can always join people with similar interests. And also sport is a big thing for us. So as I said before, we have won the uh, University of the Year Award uh, twice. The latest is 2021. Uh, we have something called trial campus game where you can participate in an Olympic style game and uh, between the three campus. So if we send you to UK, you can go to UK to complete. And of course, uh, because we have a lot of students from South Asia, cricket is one of the popular game in our university. And global community. So when you graduate, you are not only limited to the uh, graduate in Malaysia campus, you are actually joining our alumni from all three campuses because all of you belong to one university, graduate from one university. And just because you are in Malaysia, um, you will also, can, doesn't mean you will not meet other international students. Because in our campus, 30% of international students are from 75 countries. So you get to meet many new friends from different parts of the world. This is uh, our, we have been awarded a goal for our teaching. And finally, these are our uh, social media. You can always join us, click like to find out more uh, information. Any uh, questions so far now?
Hello. Good morning. Yes, I can hear you, fine, sir. Hello. Yeah, I'm available, sir. Who's that? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, good morning, Galen. Morning. Morning, Saad. Morning, Time Saad. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Sir, we are ready for your uh, presentation. The first thing is uh, Mr. Devan Ong from Swinburne University of Technology, Sarawak Campus, will give our presentation. And then I will take the session for the uh, rest of time, okay? So, this is a lot of uh, whole session. Please allow us for video because uh, we are unable to change over here. So we need to uh, come as a video session. So we are like online at the moment? Yeah, perfectly fine. Hello. 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 So, pretty fine. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. You too. Great. Um, Safuna, I so saw now we are online, right? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Assalamu alaikum and good morning, all of you. Uh, my name is Moni Ahmed. Uh, I'm from Swanbun University of Technology, Sarawak campus. I'm dealing with the uh, Pakistan market uh, for student recruitment, recruitment, who they are studying with us in Swanbun University of Technology, Sarawak. And uh, uh, my colleague, Mr. Dalan Ong from Swanbun University of Technology, Sarawak campus, is online with us. And he will be handling, um, uh, firstly, uh, with the presentation. So thank you very much for himself, and Safuna, um, Sir, for this session. So I'm just handing over to Mr. Delanon. Delanon, please start your presentation. Thank you, Munir. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Farid Mabasi. And I believe we are speaking to, to Wales College. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, hi. Okay. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Um, greetings from Malaysia. So I'd like to uh, bring warm, warm greetings to the staff and students of Wales College. Uh, it is a great pleasure to be here today, and I'm, uh, thank you very much for, for hosting us. Yeah, I'm uh, Mr. Munir's colleague in uh, Swinburne University of Technology East to our campus. Uh, it's a long name, but uh, we are located in Malaysia, and uh, I think I have time. So let me probably share my screen, and I can give you a short presentation on the university itself. Let's do this. All right. Can you see this? Yes. Uh, all right. All right. Let's start. So again, welcome to uh, Swinburne University of Technology throughout campus. Right. We are originally actually an Australian university. So we were originally established in uh, the city of Melbourne in Australia in the 1908. So it has been more than 
and a half of Melbourne in Australia. And I am actually from the Sarawak campus, which is the only international branch campus of Sumban Australia. And we were established in Malaysia in the year 2000. So actually last year was our 20th anniversary. So it's, uh, it's been uh, 20 years, uh, coming on 21 years, and we have actually graduated over um, 7,000 graduates since that time in Malaysia. Right. So just to give you a bit uh, of an uh, introduction as well, uh, you may or may not have heard of Sunburn. So we're actually quite a young university. We are, as a university, we are actually uh, under 50 years old. We, were, we had the university status in Australia in 1992. So we are just under 50 years old. So in the world rankings, we are, we are in the top 50 of uh, young universities under 50 years old. And some other achievements that uh, Sunburn has obtained, a uh, recent one is an AAC accreditation which is actually given to only five percent of the world's business schools so programs were actually a uh, top 100 for civil engineering as well as other engineering programs worldwide and if you are looking at world university rankings under qs we are actually in the top 1.5 percent worldwide and uh, another strong area we have is in art and design whereby we are in the top 50 university is actually very focused on industry engaged learning that means not just theory but also preparing our graduates for for the real world and for for job uh, opportunities so we find that we have a very high graduate employment rate above 93 percent that means more than 93 percent of our graduates will obtain a, a secure a job within six months of graduation and in our strong fields such as business and engineering up to 100 percent of our graduates uh enjoy um, employment within six months and they are actually um, hired by the world top 100 global brands here you can just see a, a, just an indication of some of the companies which hire Swinburne graduates i'm sure you can recognize some of those yeah uh, so where are we okay if you look at the, the left side of the of this uh, of the screen you see that uh, kuching that is the name of the city we are in malaysia uh, we are we're not the capital city, the fourth largest city. And from there, you can actually see we are we are easily uh, connecting to Singapore, other parts of uh, Asia. So, for example, if you're coming from uh, from from Wales College, if you're coming to to Malaysia, most likely you can transit in Kuala Lumpur or Singapore or even Brunei, and, uh, and then take another flight to Kuching in Sarawak. And on the right there, you can just see um, some of the airlines that uh, service the route to uh, our city. We have an international airport and uh, it you know, has up, like, more than 20 flights a day. And this is uh, just a, an image of our city. So it's a city, city campus. Uh, I think if you compare it in, in uh, Pakistan, it's very similar to probably Lahore because it's a very green, very, very, uh, like, very healthy city, right? And uh, if you look at the top right hand corner of of the screen, that's where our campus is located. That picture with the Swinburne name, that's where the campus is. It's about 10 minutes from the city center. Okay, so why uh, would you consider uh, Swinburne in Sarawak? So firstly, we are an Australian branch campus in Malaysia, so we offer fully Australian programs. We have uh, programs from foundation. That means if you have finished your O-levels, IGCSE, you can start uh, with a foundation program. If you completed your A-levels or H HSC, you can actually start your degree with us. And all our degrees are awarded from Australia, which you can complete in Malaysia compared to the Australian fee. For the exact same program, you're paying on average about one third of the Australian fee. This includes the tuition fee and also the living expenses. Uh, we, being a branch campus, we offer uh, plenty of mobility options. That means if you want to spend some time in the Australia campus or if you wish to finish your studies in Australia, you can choose to go on exchange or transfer. I'll talk a bit more about that uh, later on. Hopefully we have uh, a bit of time. And as you saw in the previous slides, we have actually very strong graduate outcomes. Swimbert is very proud of our graduate employability and we, we strive to maintain it above 93, 94%. Uh, the campus in Malaysia, we currently have about 4,000 students from over 45 countries. All right, um, about 18% are international. So uh, that's close to about 1,000 students from over 45 countries. And I'm very uh, happy to say that our students from, from Pakistan 
usually make up the top two. They're either the, the number one or number two in terms of student number. So we have easily close to about 200 students from Pakistan. And then other students from other countries will include the, the rest of the South Asian region, but also Southeast Asia, like Indonesia, Singapore, Brunei, uh, the Middle East, and uh, even exchange students from Australia. In that picture, you actually, you're looking at is actually our study abroad students. That means students who spend one or two semesters with us. They're actually coming from Europe, from countries like Denmark, Sweden, France, Germany. So we have uh, you know, a very vibrant international student co community, sometimes up to 60 countries uh, in the same campus. And this is just a view of our campus from the top. And you can actually see that uh, being located in the city area, we are very close to, uh, for example, a shopping mall. If you can see there, the number six at the bottom is actually a shopping mall, which is only about five minutes walk from our campus. Our campus is in that uh, red area, that red line area. So that is our campus. And uh, we also have a, a three-star hotel, um, halal, 24-hour halal food within five minutes walk. We have banks, supermarkets, and we also have actually two mosques within walking distance of the campus. So for our students, most things that you need are easily accessible um, within uh, a few minutes walk of the campus. And what courses we offer, we have, um, these are the, the main areas. We have business, we have computing, design, engineering, and science. Some new programs that we're offering this year include a Bachelor of Media and Communication. We have a Master of IT. So these are new in 2021. And all degrees are awarded by Swinburne in Australia. And as I mentioned, our courses range from foundation. That means if you've finished your um, O-levels or metric, you can actually join us for foundation. And if you've done your A-levels or uh, FSC, inter, you can actually join us for bachelors. And we have courses all the way up to PhD. Right, and this slide is just to show you uh, our faculties and schools. So these are the study areas that, that you, can, uh, you can choose. And um, as mentioned, Everything here is awarded from Australia. You can complete it in Malaysia or you can also transfer to Australia anytime. Anytime, okay. Uh, the only exceptions if you see here, are if you look at the School of Business, the last one, Management and Digital Media. And then also in the second column, the School of Chemical Engineering and Science, the Chemical Engineering Program. So these two programs are especially uh, offered only in the Malaysia campus. So although you will get an Australian degree, these two programs can only be completed in Malaysia. Every other program can be completed either in Malaysia or Australia. Okay, and uh, this is just some of the uh, professional bodies which accredit our um, programs. So I think importantly, if you're interested in engineering or accounting, then some of these uh, professional bodies might be um, worth uh, remembering. For example, Engineers Australia. I think the Pakistan equivalent would be the uh, uh, PEC, Pakistan Engineering Council. So they also accredit Swinburne's engineering degrees. And for accounting, we have CPA, ACCA, CIMA. And um, for our computing programs, the Australian Computer Society also accredits our um, computing degrees. Right. So just to give you an idea, I think if you're uh, coming from, from Pakistan, you'll probably be looking at the either the Pakistan HSC or the A-levels. So this is just a, a general indication of what our entry requirements are for a bachelor's degree program. So if you have an HSC or intermediate qualification, you need about 65% average to enter our bachelor degree program. If you have an A-level qualification, then we will look at your best three subjects and we'll need eight points to join the degree. So an example would be uh, two Cs and a D. We can offer you a degree entry directly. Right, so just a bit about our academic staff, our teaching staff. We have close to 200 teaching staff, and these also come from about 13 countries and, and growing. Uh, PhD holders make up almost half of the, the numbers, and we're also very proud of our, of our staff to student ratio. That means we actually are able to have small classes, an average of one to 18, one staff to 18 students. So actually this picture here you're looking at is actually a, a lecture theater which can accommodate 350 students. So um, as you know, not all classes are like this. A lot of the time you're in a classroom of not more than 25 students. Right. So, okay, a bit about the international study of student mobility. As I mentioned earlier, you can actually spend some time in Swinburne, Australia, either, either as an exchange student or transfer. 
And uh, besides Australia, we have exchange programs with other partner universities, for example, in uh, South Korea, Germany, China, and India. Okay, just a bit more on that. Okay, exchange and transfer, what is the difference? Okay, transfer, if you wish to transfer to Australia, it means that you can complete your degree there at any point after your first year. So you can do your second, your third, your fourth year in Australia. Uh, but the fee you pay will be the Australian fee if you transfer. But if you go on exchange, you can actually spend six months or one semester in Australia and you will still be paying the Malaysian fee. So as I mentioned, the Malaysian fee is about one third of the Australian fee. Um, as a very industry focused university, we do offer internships for our students during their degree. That means especially for our engineering and uh, computer science programs, you can actually do a six or 12 month internship before you graduate. So this is actually a very good opportunity to get some work experience and uh, actually it actually increases your your uh, chances to secure a job also once you have graduated. Okay, and uh, in Malaysia, uh, Sumban is also one of the top 10 preferred private universities by jobstreet.com. So actually jobstreet.com is the number one job site in Malaysia. Uh, it's probably safe to say that most graduates uh, will probably be using this uh, website when they are looking for their first job. So Swimbet as a as a preferred partner, we actually get you know a lot of a good network and you know a lot of good um, uh, facilities with uh, Job Street. Uh, next, I'll just be showing you some uh, pictures of our facilities on campus. Um, due to the current pandemic, I know it's uh, it's a bit uh, difficult to travel, but hopefully uh, we'll be able to welcome you to the campus uh, in the near future. So here you have our student HQ. This is where uh, new students, uh, first time students will be um, uh, enrolling and getting their student IDs and timetables. Um, auditorium, I think uh, you probably have seen lots of these. Uh, you probably you might be sitting in one right now. Our library, um, we have a 24 hour section in the library. So students uh, can actually choose to, you know, if you need to use library facilities, you can, you can use it anytime. Um, engineering is actually our biggest faculty. So we have plenty of space on campus for our engineering facilities. And our example is here is uh, for civil engineering. And here you actually can see a robotics and mechatronics engineering lab. Cybersecurity is, uh, under, is actually a major under our Bachelor of Computer Science program. So you can actually choose to a major in cybersecurity. And we also have Internet of Things, IoT. Besides that, we actually have AI, we have data science, so you can choose that. We have networking as well. So we have a Cisco lab. Science here means actually uh, biotechnology. We have two science programs, which is uh, biotechnology or environmental science. So you can also uh, choose to do, take that in uh, Swinburne in Malaysia and obtain a Swinburne Australia degree. Uh, for design, students who are interested in design, we offer both uh, graphic design and multimedia design. Again, uh, Swinburne Australian degrees. Uh, Mac Lab, these are just to give you the option, you know, you might be prefer to work with a Macintosh other, or, or a PC. It's completely up to you. And on campus, we do provide the necessary uh, labs and facilities. An open lab is actually, you know, a general lab for all students. And the one you see here actually is a 24 hour open lab. That means it's also open at all times for students. It, there, there are several of these uh, throughout the campus. A lecture room, again, uh, so normally a lecture, yeah, takes up to about 25 students. Tutorials are when you uh, need to break up into smaller groups and you don't have a group discussions. So tutorials are usually small groups of between 10 to 15 students. Okay, besides classes, we have uh, on-campus uh, sports facilities like uh, this multi-purpose hall in the campus. So inside you actually find there's a basketball court, we have a badminton, we have squash, and on the second level, we actually have a gym which is on campus. So all these are available to our students. And there's a student lounge. So in between classes, you don't have to leave the campus. You can actually uh, make use of the many facilities. You can also, you know, hang out in the student lounge while waiting for your next class. And we have uh, more than 50 active student clubs. So depending on your interest, uh, you could find something that really suits you. Uh, I noticed here, um, the cricket club is not mentioned, but we actually have a very active uh, cricket club. Okay, we don't have a, 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 a pitch on, on campus, but then the students are still able to find places to, to practice, you know, and play games. 
Uh, just to give you an idea on accommodation, uh, this is our off-campus accommodation, um, and it is just next door to the university. It's basically a five or not two minute walk uh, from, from the university. So there's lots of uh, uh, off-campus accommodation options, either within walking distance, or maybe it's just a 10 minute ride and uh, with the transport provided. So if you're looking for accommodation, don't worry, our accommodation office is able to assist you depending on your needs. Maybe you prefer to stay closer to the campus or you prefer to stay closer to the city area. You know, it's really up to you and we will be able to give you recommendations. Um, this one is uh, an example of an apartment that is very uh, within the city center. So if you are looking for such type of accommodation, you know, with a uh, fully furnished with swimming pool and gym, uh, these are also available. Okay, this slide actually shows you uh, cost comparison. Okay, yeah, I think for many of you, this might be the first time you're hearing the name Kuching. So Kuching, uh, whereas you know Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia. Uh, Kuching is uh, as the fourth largest city in Malaysia. We are, as you, as you saw from the pictures, we are a full city. Uh, we're a very uh, clean, safe, healthy city. And uh, being, not, being not the capital, uh, the cost of living is also much lower than the capital city. So on average, your, your living cost, for example, for food, for transport, or even your uh, cinema tickets, uh, is uh, probably at least 20% lower than what you would pay in the capital city. Right, so I think I have uh, come towards the end of my, my presentation. I hope this was helpful. Um, and uh, please feel free to connect with us. And um, these are the links. You know, we have a very active Facebook page. You know, we have almost daily updates. Please have a look if you'd like to know a bit more about the campus itself. And on our YouTube channel also, we have a lot of uh, uh, sh uh, short and sweet videos about the campus. All right, so thank you very much. Uh, there you have my contact as well, so please, please feel free. You can also get it from my colleague uh, Munir or Mr. Fahim, Fahim Abbasi. Right. So thank, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Munir. Thank you very much, uh, viewers. Um, I would like to uh, answer a few questions if you have a question so far, and if you have any question for Dylan, so we are happy to answer. I hope you can understand. Uh, Dylan has covered all the things which is important for the processing of application. The application process is very simple. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, partner Fahima Basi is available in Karachi for the one to one counseling session. And if you need any any specific or special uh, slot from my side, I'm also available. Please book a special counseling slide or slot with me so we can arrange accordingly. So, the scholarships and the rest of things I know uh, you guys in your minds. So, we are happy to uh, answer your scholarship questions. Application process is very simple uh, for the intermediate students, A level students, and the graduate or the postgraduate students. So they can go online portal and get the all assistance from uh, our expert, person, Mr. Fahim Abasi in Karachi. The, he will guide you for the, for the process of application. And uh, we are love to see you guys in coaching. And you know, we are always saying every single student are a Swinburn baby. So the main Unfortunately, due to COVID, we are unable to entertain you uh, face to face classes. But at the moment, we are available online, online classes uh, for the upcoming intake, which will be starting in April and then the upcoming intake in September and October. <clears throat> so, Fahim, sir, any questions so far uh, from your side or from your student side? College. Dylan, please. <coughs> All right. Let me see if I can pull up, uh, if we've got time. Let me see if I can just pull up my. Uh, uh, scholarship details. <coughs> okay. Can you guys see this? Yes. See the scholarship. Okay. Yes. So I just uh, so I believe the students from Wales College are doing A levels and O levels. Yes. Is that correct? All right. Yes. So if you 
if you've got your own levels, I'm happy to say that you know we start giving scholarships from three A's and above. Okay, so if you've got three A's in O levels, you uh, automatically get uh, like three thousand ringgit in a scholarship. So that is about uh, about ten percent. You know that starts from ten percent of the first year fee. And uh, if you've got uh, straight A uh, to the six six A stars, six A stars, you're you're getting about you know it's like oh, about fifty percent of the uh, of the foundation fee as a scholarship. And for A level students, our scholarships actually start from two Bs. So as long as you've got two Bs, you're already eligible for a level one scholarship of uh, five thousand. So that's about fifteen percent. And if you're, you know, if you're, if you're taking four subjects and you get straight A's for four subjects, we are, we're going to give you a full first year fee waiver. So I guess I'm speaking to students who have not yet graduated. So do, you know, do your best. And then, you know, Sunben is happy to, 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 you know, offer you a scholarship based on your academic performance. And of course, those who are, you know, uh, you know, students who, are, who do not meet the scholarship criteria, I'm also happy to say that this year we do give everybody, you know, uh, an initial uh, fee rebate. So it starts from uh, 2,000 ringgit for the foundation program or 3,000 ringgit for the, um, for the degree program. And because, uh, you know, I, I just had a look at the video of uh, Mr. Farid Abbasi, I noticed that the students of Wales College are back, back in college, so it's, it's very good to see. Unfortunately, in, uh, in Malaysia, we, the, the government has not yet lifted the lockdown. So a lot of our classes are still being done online. So um, we, we are actually uh, allowing students to, to start online as well. So if anyone who wishes, you know, who's already completed your O-levels, A-levels, and you wish to start your studies with us online, we're giving you a further bursary. That means your first semester fee will be uh, deducted by about 20% if you start online with us. And of course, once the, the border has reopened, all the, the lockdown has been lifted, you are free to, to, to travel to Malaysia and join us for on-campus classes. So I hope that that helps. Thank, thank you. Okay, right, guys, uh, let me explain you in, in the local language. Honestly, um, as a student, who are um, joining University of Technology, who join <coughs> foreign studies ko, uh, in the different route, this is the best opportunity in this COVID. Because you know that in Pakistan, in the whole world, at this time, the global situation is created. Unfortunately, the economic system has collapsed, the financial system has collapsed. The world has gone to 360. So instead of asking that you have time waste at home, why not you can join Swindon in a very economical cost. You have a very economical cost. It is a very easy route to enter in the Australia. And the most important thing is that there is an Australian brand as a top-ranked brand. If you go to its ranking, on our website, www.swindon.edu.my, you will see the difference. So the most important thing is that it is very economical. Okay? Plus, the most important thing that our Pakistan students have issued is for the bank statement, for the IELTS. So Swindon University of Technology conducts its own English language test, which is the first time free. Okay, and if you want to give a second time, then he or she can like pages 15 in it and that's what they can give. So once again, I will recommend that if you have any details or questions or you want to take it further, you want to continue to continue, please contact with Fahim Abbasi and Fahim Abbasi team in Karachi. Our details will be available to you. Please contact Fahim Abbasi and Fahim Abbasi team in Karachi. Our details will be available to you. Fahim sir, I think we need to end up this session from our side. If you have any specific questions, please contact Fahim Abbasi and Fahim Abbasi team in Karachi. Our details will be available to you. Fahim sir, I think we need to end up this if you have, a, have any specific question, please answer the question to directly to the students. Or if you want, I can stay here. So I'm available uh, till end, your end of session, okay? So once again, um, I, I would like to uh, thank you, uh, especially Fahim Abasi and team and Wills College and management, who they gave us an opportunity uh, to present our and uh, discuss with the detail about our university. All right, so Swinburne University of Technology, as I said, fine, sir. Swinburne University of Technology, everywhere in Pakistan. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you.